Greetings. Welcome to the show. Now, first, do me a favor and pick which game you want to play. Yep, got it. Now, tell me, how many people do we have playing today? We're playing solo. All right, then. Let's have... All right. 45 seconds. Right. Yeah, okay, your buzzer is B, as in boron, oh, which I think is some huh? sort of Thespian? chemical or oh, something. Oh, for goodness sakes, Mavis. All right, pay attention. People screw this up all the time. As soon as you think you know the answer to a question, buzz in. Then you have to hit the number that corresponds to the answer you want. You got that? Ten, Good luck. Nine, eight, get rid of the death seven, please. Six, and five, five, black. four, my three. Available. Also available, my little split personality and my little addiction. Welcome to our Golden Medley episode. We've got some of the finest trivia illegally harvested in the dead of night from local farmers for your playing pleasure. Go enjoy. All right, you ready? Let's start. Time to pick a category. Question number one. For your enjoyment, when you get to the middle of nowhere, turn right. And this one's going to be worth $3,000. Pencils ready. Let's do it. If you were really to go from here to... Last time I checked, Timbuktu was in Africa. You know, it makes you wonder what people in Timbuktu say when they want to say something far away. From here to Detroit? Give me a category. Well, I hope you're all rested up, because you're about to take on a dis or dat. The category for this dis or dat question is, we will no longer wear your silly bibs. Okay, I'm going to read off seven names here, and for each one, I need you to tell me if it's a way to prepare a lobster or a political separatist group. As each one appears before you, if it's a lobster dish, press one. If it's a separatist group, press 2. And to skip it, press 4. You get 500 bucks for each right answer, and you lose 500 for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. Okay, you got 30 seconds. You ready? Let's dance. Puffball canapé, lobster dish or separatist? Zapatista. Bass. Biss. Newberg. Quebecois. One more. Curds. That'll do it. Perfect. And with time to spare, no less. Here you go. Congratulations. Let's move on. All right. I need a category. Who will I answer question three? The category, part four, a new test result. Get this one right, you get a grand. Flex those fingers, here it comes. Suppose Luke wants to have tests run. The most accurate indicators of paternity are DNA tests. You know, the good thing about having Darth Vader as a father is he could pretty much beat up any other father on the block. The bad part is, he would cut your hand off. All right, the category. Hallelujah! Bow your heads and pray to four. The category is, You've Got Conspiracy Mail. And this one's going to be worth $2,000. See what you can do with this one. Imagine an episode of The X-Files where Sully and Mulder try to... File 404 is the error message that comes up when a website can't be found. <laughs> so that means the truth is out there somewhere in cyberspace. You just can't find it because some idiot typed in the wrong URL. At the end of round one, we'll be back with round two right after these messages.
To learn more about an advertiser, hit any key on your keyboard. We'll show you more information after you leave the game. Vote. What sport lets you wear the coolest clothes? Vote. Which national news anchor baby talks during commercial breaks? Vote. Democracy depends on you. Play poker online with other people live at www.2am.com. Welcome back. <laughs> Time to play round two, where the values are doubled. All right, y'all set? Here we go. Time to pick a category. Coming at you, ice cream, who screams? And this one's worth $6,000. Okay, imagine you wanted... Hey, you hear that? I think I hear the ice cream man. Suppose those kids finally get to the good humor man and he... Be Supposedly, too much yellow bile is what makes people angry. <laughs> or it could be the fact that he's got to listen to that damn circus music every day. Give me a category. We're a bunch of hits and we love the question six. We're calling this one milk, butter, and a dozen human eggs. I got $2,000 says you don't know this one. You know, used to be there was only one way to have a baby, the fun way. Nowadays, you can pretty much custom design your offspring. Hell, you can even borrow eggs from donors. Say, suppose human eggs are graded according to the same. The highest grade of eggs is double A. But you got to pay a higher price for those top quality eggs. I hear those eggs from Harvard donors make a better omelet. All right, I need a category. Seven, lucky, lucky seven. For your viewing pleasure, what a ham. How does $4,000 grab you? Ready? Here's the question. If you ask the lovely and talented Mia Ham, what up? What the captain and star player of the U.S. women's soccer team is none other than Mia Hamm. She's a terrible show-off. I mean, look at the way she runs around in those shorts and that jersey. Ah, see? All right, pick the category. Okay, flesh nuts, let's slime snore. It's time for a Tinkerlick Test Drum. Your gibberish category for today is, that really frappes my chino. The opening value of this gibberish question is 10,000 bucks. Now check this out. As the time disappears, so does the money. So the sooner you buzz in, the better. All right, listen very, very closely. And tell me, what does this rhyme with? Go for it. Type in your answer and hit... Hey, I not only thank God it's Friday, I thank God I live in America, where I can go to a bland chain restaurant and spend lots of money on big fruity drinks and forget about how much I hate spending 40 hours a week at my job. Give me a category. Aloha, question number nine. This one's called Gentle Touches. I'll give you 4,000 clams for this bad boy. Hey, you know what I haven't seen in a while? That great movie, The Untouchables. You know, Elliot Ness and all his buddies who um, couldn't be, um, you know, they were untouchable. What am I trying to say here? What would Al Capone have needed to do in order to... The Untouchables got their name because they couldn't be bribed. <laughs> Yep, great movie. The story of U.S. federal employees who couldn't be bribed. God, I love good fiction. That's the end of round two. We'll be right back with round three after this. coming soon. Acrophobia, the hilarious word game that puts your creativity on the line. Introducing 
a revolutionary concept in web design. Airforce.com. Enjoy one-stop shopping for Air Force wallpaper, screensavers, e-cards, and games, all absolutely free. This is an unlimited time offer, so act now. Visit www.airforce.com. Welcome back. Time to play round three. You ready? Good. We're starting. Time to pick a category. Ten fingers and ten toes. Would you like to have a cheap cigar? For your viewing pleasure, don't bogart the poetry. And this one's worth $4,000. So you're familiar with the National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws, right? Their acronym is NORMAL. You're on their mailing list because this poet wrote the book Leaves of Grass. That big pothead, Walt Whitman, wrote the collection of poems called Leaves of Grass. Dude, wait a minute, man. Walt Whitman is dead, man. Well, could he come next year, then? <laughs> All right, pick a category. It's 11 minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 is 11. This category is known as Go Play in Traffic, and this one's worth $2,000. Okay, time to fill in the blank. Now, when you know the answer to this one, buzz in and type like mad. Oh, but first, listen to this traffic report I just happened to pick up on my CB radio. Chuck, uh, I-90 is backed up because an amphibian keeps trying to cross the freeway. Oh, go for it. Type it. It's the fun-filled game where you try to prevent a frog from being turned into a pile of guts. It's Frogger. <laughs> Originally, the game was called Whiny Three-Year-Old, but nobody tried to save the kid from the cars. All right, I need a category. Well, 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 let's delve into question 12. I believe this one is called They Lip Stink. And this one's going to be worth $4,000. And now, your question. If the fame of pop stars Milli Vanilli lasted one milli... A millisecond is one thousandth of a second. <laughs> yeah, it just goes to show you, my grandfather's old saying is still true today. Hard work and honesty can never be replaced by hair extensions and spandex bodysuits. Give me a category. Luck of the green. It's that team. This category is known as, you're way off the marky mark. How does $2,000 sound? You know, they say the past will always catch up to you. And they're right, because Mr. Wahlberg, no matter how many prosthetic penises you whip out on the silver screen, people will always remember you were a white boy rapper. So, you might as well just fess up right now. Say Mark Wahlberg admits the whole marky mark thing was... The German unit of currency is the Deutschmark. <laughs> and when you consider that Germany is a country where David Hasselhoff is double platinum, I'd say Marky Mark's success is fairly understandable. Time to pick a category. In the love like number 14. Well, what do we have here? Mascots more effective than laws. You want 6,000 bucks? Give me your right answer. Heads up, here it comes. Considering the organization he represents, which scenario would be the most ironic thing? Lovable Eddie Eagle is the mascot used by the lovable NRA to promote its child gun safety program. <laughs> I understand the program's motto is, guns don't kill people, they just help speed up the process. That's it. Round three is over. I'm going to take care of a little business, and then I'm coming back with your jack attack. Which do you prefer, playing games or waiting to play games? <laughs> if you need speed, you need X2 modem technology from U.S. Robotics. Just 28K? No way. Check out the X2 modem. Why wait?
Jack Attack. When you see two words on the screen that match, hit your buzzer. If you're right, I'll give you 2,000 bucks. If you're wrong, you're going down 2,000. But don't forget, remember the clue. Not any old word's gonna do it. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. 1999, and it's TV season. Ooh, that reminds me. I've gotta clean my toilet. Commercials and Cookie, what's going on now? If you want to play again, just let me know. Of weight. I'm talking about. Okay. Oh, all right. See ya. Endless conversation.